Oh, howdy, hi, everybody. Sam Goodman of the Hop Nerd Podcast and the Hop Nerd LLC. I wanted to do something a little bit different today. A little bit of, I guess, of an unboxing video, uh, as all the cool kids on YouTube do nowadays. But I got this box in the mail the other day, and I don't know if you can hear that, but you might just know what it is. It's starting points. Funky meeting starters. I've got some of the prototypes, and many of you have gotten yours uh, before I, I got this, and you've told me how much you love them already. I'm excited to uh, finally put my hands on those, uh, well, I guess on these. Uh, when we set these up, we set them up as a tarot-sized card, and uh, they come with a handy-dandy little metal box, so you don't have to worry about them getting all jacked up when you're using them or toting them around in your bag or any of that kind of cool stuff. Uh, so I'm really curious. I, I know the quality of the cards that come out of the uh, vendor that we use, uh, but I'm not so sure about the metal box. Everyone has told me it does not suck, so I'm excited to get to take a look at it. I've gone ahead and uh, pre-cut this because I don't want anyone to yell at me for uh, whipping out my little maybe razor knife here as I dig through my toolbox here out in the garage. I'll use my, oh look, locking and not, okay, I've already, I've already cut it, but uh, let's take a look. Let's open it up, check it out. They come wrapped, right, all nice and protected, but here's the card deck. Look at that. Terra size, and to put that into comparison with the uh, normal standard U.S. playing card deck, it's right here. That's that normal size for that. This is the uh, normal, regular, I guess, uh, original, original, operationally curious questions, which, uh, side note, we're going to uh, make these in a tarot card size with the same case. So I'll let you know when that happens. It'll be pretty stinking soon. I'll tell you probably over the next couple weeks or so. Uh, and if you're late to the game watching this video, they're probably already out there at startingpointcards.com. But there's there's a size difference. Let's, uh, let's open this bad boy up and take a look. Check that out. There are the cards, all 75-ish plus of them each a unique funky meeting starter and if you take a look here at the front you can take a look at that print on the uh, on the box i think they did a really stinking great job look at that that's pretty every card uh, including the cover here has a little bit of a, a paper look to it which i don't know i just thought it looked cool and i really like this uh, gradient yellow funky pink kind of thing so there you go you know that i'm not a card shuffler so i'm not going to show you any cool tricks but there you go i mean look there's all the cards check that out how neat is that? And here, again, here is the uh, here are the normal starting point cards. Let's put that nice little cool box up there somewhere where you can see it. But there you go. You can see the difference in size. Again, these are the original operationally curious questions. These are funky meeting starters. They're great to kick off meetings with a little less suck. But it's more than that. When we engage with each other, when we're having a bit of fun, it helps us to create that more trusting environment, a bit of a, an environment which honesty is possible. We start off on a bit more of a fun and collaborative foot, uh, on a creative foot, dare I say, within our organizations. And you'll see that as you start to play with these cards. There's some uh, weird, <laughs> there are some weird ones. All work appropriate, uh, but weird in a good way. Again, we're going to uh, put the original Operationally Curious card deck in this size as well. These aren't going anywhere. We're still keeping this size. But this, with the metal box, I don't know, they just feel great. I think you're really, really going to love them. So if you want to get your hands on the cards, head over to www.startingpointcards.com. Again, startingpointcards.com. And you can get your hands on your very own deck or a couple hundred or a couple thousand. Many of your organizations, especially with these original Operationally Curious Question cards, you buy them by the pallet and you deploy them all across your work world and you send me all the cool stories about the amazing conversations that they're helping to generate. I think funky meeting starters are going to help you just as much, but maybe in a little bit more of a fun and funky way. Again, if you want to learn more about what I do, you can head over to www.thehopnerd.com. If you want to take a look at the cards, you can click shop at the top and then click operationally curious cards. And if you want to cut out all that in the middle and just pick up your very own card decks, this one, the original one, the original we have in multiple languages. We have them with the box, without the box. And again, they're coming in this box and this size pretty soon. You can just go to startingpointcards.com.